Aloha. Hi. Hi. Hello, everybody. Hi. How are you guys doing today? Hello, hello, hello. Hi, how are you guys doing today? Everything going well in your guys' life? Um, I... I... Don't want you guys to worry too much about... The title and everything. Um, I am going to be taking a break after this stream, but it's not going to be for super long. But I also don't know how long it's going to be. <laughs> okay, it's not going to be for a long, long time. But it's I don't I also don't know um, how long it'll be. So there's that. Um. <laughs> I, 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 um, I, 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 I don't like talking about this stuff, but I've had a lot of stuff going down in my life. Like, not just VTuber related, in fact, most of it is not related to streaming, VTubing, or anything, but, um, a lot of stuff. Maybe I'll work up the courage to talk about it more in the stream, I don't know. But today, uh, we are here to chat. Oh my god, get out of here. Thank what? you, Mogu Mogu. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you guys. But today is for happiness. Happy, happy, happy chatting. Welcome we're to the chat. chat. Are we Take gonna care have of fun? Yourself, underscore bug heart. For a second, I thought you called me Colin, but no, that's just the chat bot. <laughs> thank you, Louis. And thank you, and thank you, Strider. Thank you guys, I really appreciate it. Um, I'm okay, so don't worry too much. Nothing is... I'm not gonna die. <laughs> I don't think. Unless one of you are planning something. Oh my god, get out of here! No, yeah, it is. Bug. Bug. <laughs> but anyway, how was your guys' day going? We're just gonna be building stuff, making little, making little things. I'll show you what those are in a second. And we're going to be hanging out and chatting, and you could tell me your deepest, darkest secrets, and I'll make fun of you. Okay? <laughs> and I'll also expand upon what's been going on a little bit. A little bit further. A little, a little bit further. I have a fear of women. Welcome! I can't help you with that. <laughs> Legendary bug could fist fight a bear blindfolded and win. Uh, depends on what kind of bear. A small bear, perhaps? Bear fight, bear naked? Wait, how does it go? Bear hands, bear fight, bear naked? Fuck yeah. <laughs> water bear. I could fight a water bear, probably. <laughs> I could eat a water bear. I probably consumed them on multiple occasions. And my secrets is that I thought... Cartoons were like made live, so like the artist <laughs> were just drawing each frame live for the TV show. What? I'm not gonna fight a koala though, because those guys have chlamydia or whatever, and I don't. I'm, I'm not taking that risk. That's too oh much. Oh my god! You gotta <laughs> Thank you, Squid, Bye. and thank you, Punished. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Um. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna. I have this. It's just a bunch of nano block sets, and we build them. We're gonna build them. We're gonna build as many as we can. But before we do that, of course, I have to fulfill my prior. What's the word? Uh, I need to. I need to fulfill my duties. <laughs> and we are. Um, this is a. Um, Say hello to our sponsor today. This is Tokyo Tree. Okay? Tokyo Tree. Tokyo Tree invites you to experience Japan from the comfort of your own home. And this this month's theme, or actually technically next month's theme, for wait, what 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 month is it? 
March? April. So this is April's thing, I think. Yes. This month's theme is Sakura Matsuri Snack Fest Box. So, there's gonna be a lot of Sakura stuff in here, and I do love Sakura, but look at how cute the freaking box is, bro. Look at how cute it is. Look at how cute it is. It has little pictures all over it. Cute art. The boxes are always adorable. And let's see what's inside, okay? Because I haven't eaten dinner, and this is gonna be my dinner t <laughs> This is my dinner tonight. We're eating snacks for dinner, as as a healthy adult should. Damn boy, look at that! Look at that! So, yeah, it's a little little uh, pamphlet. It tells you everything that's in the box, and little thing. Cherry juice? Oh my god, the, the soda this time is cherry juice? That sounds so good. Uh, the Tokyo Treat Box always comes with a, a drink and the ramen, I think? I think. But yeah, they fill this to the brim with lots and lots of goodies straight from Japan. So if you are interested in getting yourself a, a snack box, please click the link in my YouTube description and use code BUGBUG, that's B-U-G-B-U-G-H to get your own box. Kore Sendai Crackers. All right, let's see. Let's see. Oh, is this Detective Conan? Bro, I used to love Detective Conan growing up. Anyone else watch Detective Conan? It's a good show. Is this called Case Closed? Um, in the, the American version, or whatever. English version. I wish Japan was real. Unfortunately, unfortunately for you, the only way you can get Japan is through this box. <laughs> no, Japan is real, man. All right, let's see what kind of snacks do we have. I want the soda. This looks, um, This looks a little um, terrifying. I need to find out what this is. It's not just a red package of pills, is it? Oh, this is Ramune candy. Guys, it's not it's not pills. It's Ramune candy. Sweet! Give me the soda. Sakura waffle cookie. That sounds good. Oh my god, they always have Kit Kats. If you guys like Kit Kats, they always have Kit Kats. And these ones are strawberry. Those are gonna be good. You're definitely trying those today. How many pills carbonate your blood? What? Not sure what this is. It's pretty though. Ah, yes, the drink. I want the drink. I need to look through this myself. Suck at a cream cake. Cake? What is this? Potato chips? Okay, we're gonna have a very healthy dinner of oh here's the ramen of potato chips and cake. <laughs> Just like a, a healthy adult would. That is what I am eating for dinner today. Definitely, if you are interested, get yourself your own Tokyo Treat box. It will help me out, and thank you to Tokyo Treat for sponsoring today's stream. <laughs> like a cream pie? I don't know, we're gonna figure it out. There's the soda. Here's the cake. Let's see what it looks like. Oh god, I dropped it. Make the ramen too. I'm not really in the mood for ramen, if I'm gonna be completely honest. It's cute! It kinda looks like a hamburger! Right? That's a hamburger! 
hamburger if I've ever seen one. I don't think it's gonna taste like a hamburger, but it kind of looks like a hamburger. And then... A cherry soda! And... Chips! Let me see what kind of chips these are. Does it have worms? What? The burger? The soda? What are you talking about? <laughs> cherry cola. I think it's just cherry. It says it's with vitamin C for your healthy life. Is it just juice? Maybe it's not soda. Mmm, it's just cherry juice. It's yummy though. Okay, let me get let me get what we're gonna work on today out. All right, as you can see, if this camera ever decides to freaking focus, thank you. Um, I have like a set of all these different types. I got this because I saw it and it was like, for one box, you had to pay something like 10 bucks for just one box. But if you, if you bought all of them and there was like, I don't know, there's like 12 or so maybe more in this in this collection if you just bought the whole thing it was only like 30 bucks so i was like why would i buy one for ten dollars if i can buy all of them for 30 bucks is diet lego okay bro i prefer diet lego pepis or coke um i prefer i prefer sprite bro i prefer sprat i like sprite better i don't drink soda that often I'm more of an alcoholic. All right, so let's see. This one is absolutely busted in. We got the fries. You guys are gonna help me decide which one we do today. Well, let's hope we can hopefully do multiple. They're pretty small. Sandwich. I have no idea what this is. Purple, purple pie. Is it a pie? Pineapple. Milk. Soda. Oh. What? Uh. And then we have burger. We have some kind of cake roll. Avocado. Egg. Saved ice and birthday cake. So how many is that? One, two, three, one, two, three, four. What's three times four, guys? I forgot. I haven't been in school in years. What is three times four? Is it twelve? It is twelve. I was right. It is twelve. Ha! I did my math good. <laughs> I did math good for once. All right, which one do you guys want me to do the best? The most, the mostest, the bestest, the mostest. Cause I'm gonna do all of these eventually, so. Sandwich, milk, milk sandwich. Do you put, do you dip your sandwich in milk? Fries and egg, pineapple. Does that music look too loud? Fries? Okay, let's do the fries first. The one that has been beaten up. I'm gonna put these back in there. Let's see. Fries! If I can even get this open with how broken it is. Yeah! 
Get out! Get out! There it is. The prize in all its glory. Oh, now let's try it. Let's try some snacks. Bro, this cherry juice is so good, bro. Gosh, damn, that cherry juice. It almost tastes like soda with how sweet it is. Okay, let's try this burger. It's not a burger, it's a cake. See, there's cream in it, not a burger. Um. Wait. Bro, I was expecting it to taste like burger buns. It does not taste like burger. Honestly, I why did I expect it to taste like burger buns? It's a it's cake. The the butt ooh, it fell apart. The buns on the outside are actually really soft. Like when you bite into them, it feels like thick when you touch it, but when you bite into it, it's really soft. You bite through it like it's butter. Mmm, soft buns. I love soft buns. And I'm gonna try the chips. the right way in fact I'm very sure I did not open it the right way <laughs> I forgot to grab a plate this is my plate today get out well that doesn't look <laughs> it really looks like I'm eating a burger <laughs> Good. Wait, what? They're just nori chips. Like they have seaweed flavoring. That was really good. Nori seaweed. The weed of the sea. Swear to God, I'm gonna go to eat a chip and accidentally eat a Lego. That's how you get iodine poisoning. What? From what? Legos? All right, let's make these fries. Okay, the instructions seem pretty simple. Fry building time! So, <clears throat> Ah. 
I don't know, like, how much I should talk about. Nom 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 nom. But I feel like... Lately, there's just been kind of a lot of stuff going on. In general. Just in general. Honestly. for you guys anything fun going on in your life I just feel like I'm currently kind of in a state where it feels like I can't be like mm, yum 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 I'm not really like doing very much with my life right now. Not that there's much I can do. doing very much and um I'm not like super content with my my life at the moment it's making me not really able to be as interesting and fun during streams as I feel like I should be Oh my god, I'm in the So good. Like, I enjoy streaming a lot. I really do. I love streaming. And I love you guys, and I love hanging out with you guys, but... I was like taking a break from streaming for a while um, and not like, you know, not having that kind of burden of knowing I'm gonna have to stream later and stuff like that, like just instead having a lot more time to do other stuff. Not that streaming is a burden, it's not a burden, but I, I feel like after I stream there is only two emotions that I feel. I either feel, after I stream I either feel extremely extremely happy like the world is the best place ever and i feel amazing and i love everybody and i i love life and i could die right now because i'm so happy and i would die in bliss it's either that is how i end the stream or <laughs> the alternative is i want to die i hate my life i'm depressed and i want to cry and then i cry myself to sleep and i um I hate everything and I hate my life and I'm a failure and I'm useless. Those are the only two ways I feel when I end a stream. One or the other. I never feel like just neutral. I don't feel neutral after. I can only feel super happy or super depressed. And um... I don't even know why. I don't really know why I'm like this, but I've kind of been like this for a long, long time. I mean, ever since I started streaming, it's pretty much been like this. I I feel like I'm just uh, one of those people who, who uh, my brain likes to jump to all or nothing situations. Like either I'm doing the best ever or I'm doing the worst ever. 
and there's no no in between for me. Um, and because I've been streaming so much lately, and thinking about it so much lately, <laughs> not that that's a bad thing, but it has kind of been taking over my life recently. Because I've been doing that, I, um, I feel like I haven't really had time to do other stuff. I haven't had time to do other stuff like... Draw as much, and um... I don't know, go outside as much. I'm, uh... I'm very much a neat. I, I have nothing else to do in my life. But, I feel like... I'm just not able to do that other stuff right now. I don't know if that makes any sense. <laughs> bad, um, I guess imposter syndrome, if that makes sense. Um, and, and OCD, that everything kind of needs to be perfect, and I'm never, I'm never enough. I feel like I, um, I'm very unhappy with who I am in real life, if that makes any sense. And then being a VTuber, being a character that you love, and that you feel like you can make into something, uh, that... That's, 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 like, better than you, the actual you? I feel like... I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if any of that made sense, but... I feel like I don't... know myself right now. Outside of Pog. And I wanna take some time and, like, go outside and... and work on other stuff. I'm gonna still be making videos. I'm gonna still be posting art to Twitter, probably more so doing that stuff. I'm just gonna take a break from streaming. That's really it. Um, I don't know when I'll be back, but it will definitely be before May. Before May. I don't know if that means I'm. it's gonna be uh, two weeks. A whole month? I don't know yet. I don't know yet. But I'm gonna try and go on a lot of hikes. I'm gonna try and do a lot of exercise. Because I've, I've started feeling like I, I don't go outside that much. And it's starting to make me feel like I'm melting. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. I just feel gross all the time. I feel nasty. I smell, I feel stinky. I smell stinky. My room smells stinky. I need to clean my room. I need to change my lifestyle. Um, and when I stream, I don't know what to talk about because I'm not doing anything other than streaming. It's like, I feel like you need something to actually talk about and I don't have anything. And then that makes me sad. Hold on, I'm trying to figure this shit out. Yeah, I need this and this. And this. bit about how I 
I've been struggling to get a job. Um, and that's been a thing I've struggled with for like years and years and years. I quit my job working at an aquarium around, um, I think it was last year, around Christmas, because I was having some problems, um, and it was a very, it was a very, uh, what's the word? <laughs> it was a very physically draining job. It was a physically draining job because I had to do a lot of lifting, heavy lifting, taking care of fish. I was very stinky all the time because I was covered in fish water and fish poop and it was disgusting. And it was very cold, especially during the winter um, because I was constantly covered in water and it was also cold and I was getting frostbite because we also had a freezer and I had to do a lot of stuff in the freezer. Um, so I quit that job. But I felt like really bad about it. I felt like really, like I had fucked up, like it was my fault. And it wasn't really anybody's fault, but I just, it became too much for me. And I was like, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just, you know, I'll do other stuff for a while. I'll do, I'll do more. I'll focus more on other stuff for a while. But being a VTuber as, as your only job and you can probably ask any of you for this, but it is not the most stable income, bro. In fact, I'd say most most VTubers don't even make minimum wage. I'd say a good most people don't, yeah. Some good old Legos with set is this? Um, it's not Legos, it's 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 off-brand Legos. We're making some fries. Fish are hard. <laughs> Fish are hard. Fish are really hard to take care of, too. They die so often. They're so sensitive to water. And since we don't breathe water, we don't know exactly what their deal is all the time. Very hard to deal with fish. Um, especially during the winter, when it was cold as shit and I was actually dying constantly. Not like bad conditions. It was just like... During the winter, I really couldn't do it. I really couldn't. I just couldn't do it. And I had been there for a while, but that's like my only job experience. So no other jobs want me to, no other jobs want me, basically. I, I, I don't really have any school. I mean, I've been to college for a couple of years, but like community college and like that doesn't really count. And I don't really know what I would want to do other than that. I mean, before COVID, I wanted to be an entomologist, but then COVID happened, and that got all, that got all fucked up. Basically, my path through through college to become an entomologist that got fucked, and um, I just gave up on that. Jobs want you to have masters to make a minimum wage, right? It's crazy. So I'm gonna probably be focusing on commissions. Well, during my break, I'm probably gonna, if you guys, if you guys want commissions from Bug, definitely check my Twitter, and check my VGen, I'm probably gonna be doing way more commissions, to try and make, um, something, um, what else, I, I'm not gonna get into this too much, but, <laughs> I have, uh... <laughs> some medical problems. Um, that I've dealt with for a very long time. And, um... They're, they're not fun. <laughs> Obviously. Um, it's nothing like life-threatening so don't worry about me it's more just annoying it keeps me from wanting to go outside um it keeps me from wanting to meet other people and go outside one thing i will say that i do have um <laughs> because i feel like this is i don't know important to telling you why i don't really want to go i don't, I don't really like going outside and i don't like people seeing me and showing my face and just anything um, it is, um, I have burns, 
on the back of my legs. So my whole life I've pretty much never worn, well not my whole life, but like from late middle school onwards, I never wear shorts or skirts and I live in a place that is very beachy. Lots of people go to the beach all the time, you know, let's go to the beach, eat, let's go get away. And I love the beach and I love water and I love swimming, but I'm so embarrassed to be on the shore in like a bathing suit or in shorts or anything because I don't want people to see that kind of thing. Um, it, it, it's just like, it's not like horrifying or anything. It's just like one of those things where people will come up to me and be like, are you okay? Like, do you know about this? Are you okay? Like, it looks, this looks bad. Are you okay? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm fucking aware. I'm so aware and you're gonna make me cry. <laughs> I know people just mean well, but like, are you, are you, are you aware of this? Yeah, I'm fucking aware, bro. Shut up. Um... <laughs> So, I don't know, there's just a lot of stuff, that's just one thing, but... <laughs> um, yeah, recently there's been some more stuff that has become a problem, specifically, like, skin problems? Swimsuits are hard. Um... And I've, I've never really been a very social person. Like, I'm afraid of people in the first place. I'm very agoraphobic. I don't like leaving my house. I don't like leaving my room. I'm terrified of people. I'm terrified of places. But it's, it's something I really need to work on. So that's also something I'm going to be working on quite a bit during the break. I'm trying to... You know, just go out and do stuff more, I guess? Because I feel like that's healthy. I fucked this up. Ah! I fucked it up and I don't remember how to fix it. Crawling in my skin. These wounds, they will not heal. But at the same time, I'm really excited to go to Ofkai. I've talked about it a lot because it's something I'm very, very excited to do. I'm going to meet up with a bunch of friends and a lot of YouTubers. And I'm really excited for that because I like never meet anybody. I don't have friends in real life. I don't talk to people in real life. <laughs> um, but I'm also really afraid that they're going to think I'm, I'm super gross and ugly. <laughs> and, um... Hate me? No. I... So like, I don't know, it's kind of like this weird feeling of I'm so excited, but also I'm terrified. Um... Which is also part of the reason why I'm like, I should also start exercising so I look more fit now. I used to, I used to do, um, weightlifting. I like a lot of it, but like that was like my exercise of choice. I did a, I did a weightlifting class. I did weightlifting. I wanted buff ass arms, but I haven't done stuff like that in years. So I'm not strong anymore. I am very weak. <laughs> my weak, weak bug. I understand that these aren't just my anxieties. I understand that everybody has these anxieties. And I'm not saying it's just me, and I'm not saying I'm anything like that. I'm just trying to explain, like, you know, kind of where my life has been at recently. And why, um... Why I'm deciding to take this break. So that I can hopefully... Fix fix some things okay and then I'm not gonna go to 
a gym though also because that's another place where people stare at you i really don't like people i'm very i'm very <laughs> i'm not a social person first of all but i'm also very anxious of people i don't like people i don't like people i'm sorry people scared me um gyms especially because then they're all stanky too <laughs> I'd rather go for hikes and stuff. When I see people, I'm like, I don't exist. Pretend you don't see me. Oh my god, I went for a hike the other day, and um, I was really tired coming back up. I was having like an asthma attack, and there's like this this part of the trail where I could see the other part of the trail, and I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna walk through the woods diagonally to the next part of the trail because that'll be faster. And I'm walking there, and this guy walks past, and he's staring at me, he's staring me down. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with this dude? Why is he staring at me so much? And then I, I finally get up to the trail, and he's gone, he's past me. And I look, I look at where I came from, and there's a big ass fucking sign that says, No trespassing! Do not walk here! It is a, what do they call it? Like a, nature preserve area. <laughs> And I've just been walking through that, and no wonder the guy is staring at me like, what the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> oh, that was funny. Just this giant ass sign. Just this huge sign, bro. But I'm not gonna be gone. Like, gone gone it's not like i'm leaving the internet i will still be active on twitter i will still be active on discord uh you guys are always allowed to dm me um talk to me i can't say i'll always respond but it's always open and i do check the discord i see everything you guys post even if i don't respond to everything and i appreciate it um i might even do some some discord calls you know like during the break, I might even just like hop on Discord every once in a while in the in the in the in the main the main gaming chat, and we can just play stuff if you guys are down. I'm always I'll, I'll probably be doing that quite a few times because I love streaming, and I don't. On the way, I think <laughs> I think I'll get kind of I think I'll get what's the word? I'll get withdrawal symptoms from not streaming, so I'm gonna need to. Do something like that. <laughs> Even if it's only for a little while, I'm gonna get withdrawals and stuff from not streaming. I just, it's become kind of an addiction almost, you know? An addiction. Yeah, just casual fun. Walking off trails is how Bigfoot gets you? I'm the only Bigfoot around here. I got big feet. Actually, I've got really small feet. <laughs> Got really small feet. Oh, <laughs> yeah, this is another thing I, I wanted to talk about because it is another thing that's kind of big for me. And it's something that's putting a lot of pressure on my brain and making me really anxious. Um, <laughs> you guys are probably gonna be like, what the fun bug? I'm probably, I'm probably gonna shave my head. Um, Kind of because I have to. Uh, so, that kind of scares me a lot. I was asking friends, like, do you want to shave your head with me? Kind of like as a joke. With them, you know, like, not for real, for real, but like, would you though? <laughs> Just kind of like testing the waters. Because I was thinking, oh, maybe I would have to do that, but it seems like I will have to do that. And I'm gonna have to do it soon, so I probably won't be able to do it with anybody. Um. I'm not going through chemo, man. <laughs> I'm not- I don't have anything life-threatening, guys. Nothing life-threatening. It's- it's a skin condition. Um. Shit, <laughs> that looks good on girls. <laughs> Uh, I don't, like, like I said, I don't really go out enough to, like, care too much about my hair. It's just kind of, like, a big thing. A big difference. Big difference. Huge difference. And I'm probably gonna have to, like, get a wig or something. <laughs> I mean, whenever I go out in public right now anyway, I always wear a, I always wear a, a hat. I always wear a hat anyway. So. 
I don't think it'll be that big a deal, but it's still kind of like a scary thing to think about. Her head gets cold after shave. I'm sure it will, because I have a fuck ton of hair on my head. You'll save money on shampoo. <laughs> yeah, I think um I think it'll be a net positive for figuring out what's going on right now for me. Um but again, I just wanna say guys, don't worry, don't worry. It's nothing it's nothing big, it's nothing life threatening. I don't wanna get into it too much. Like I said, it's just, it's, um, I have a lot of immune disorders. What are, what are they called? Autoimmune disorders? <laughs> like pretty much like, there's too many. Um, and if you can, uh, I don't know, figure out what that is, then you can figure it out. But I'm not gonna get into it too much. It's nothing life threatening. It's just very annoying. It's very annoying. And I'm hoping I'll only have to do it once. I'm hoping I'll only have to do it once and then it'll I'll never have to do it again. Like, and then I'll get my hair will go back and I'll be okay. I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be fine. Let's get a tuck punk bug. What the fuck is a tuck? Yeah, I'm gonna no, I'm gonna go for a mullet next time. Let's go for a mullet. Maybe I'll get like a mohawk. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> you don't have to do that. I don't- it's not really a big deal. I just... Yeah, that's one of the big things that's kind of been weighing on my mind and scaring me. In fact, my mom was like, she'll do it with me. Which again, I don't- I don't even think I'm gonna make her do that, but... Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll draw on my head with Sharpie. <laughs> Put a QR code on it. Where is what I need? It's a four one. Oh, there it is. Like, just like this. The last airbender. But yeah, that's that's one of the things. Am I doing this right? It goes. I need a two piece now. Saitama cosplay. <laughs> no, thank you. I've never really cosplayed before. I cosplayed when I was like in middle school, but um. Never did it again. Not much of a cosplayer. I'd wear a mascot suit though. I would definitely wear a mascot suit. We are cross streaming, yes, this is a dual stream. YouTube and Twitch. I'm not gonna die, guys, please. Please don't worry, I am fine. I am fine, 100% fine, buggy's fine, buggy's fine. I'm just, I'm just um, a weirdo. <laughs> I'm fine, I'm bad. Everything okay. Just, just die. Uh, 
um, it's just like a series of unfortunate circumstances, you know? I feel like that's how my life has been. It's, <laughs> it's a series of, of unfortunate events. Just like every time I'm getting really excited to do something, or I'm like, oh, I'm gonna do this, something has to come and I'll f fuck it up. Like, a, a good example was how I wanted to be an entomologist, and then COVID fucked that up. So, yeah, <laughs> it just feels like a lot of times when I start getting hyped for something, the universe is like, um, actually, um, I'm actually. <laughs> could land into and get a weight collection? Yeah, probably. We'll see what I do. We'll see what I do. It was Homeland Security! Oh God! <laughs> but don't worry, I will still be posting. I will still be posting on Twitter and probably doing some more bug fact shorts. Am I still gonna pursue entomology? I don't know. I don't think so. No. I don't think so. Oh shit! It's the police! I can put my hands like this. That's not up though. It's supposed to go up there, but I can't get it to fit there because there's nothing to hold it in place. Okay. What 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 is the next piece I need? A long piece. Long piece. Follow your dreams, Dork? Okay, but here's the thing. I just feel like at this point, I'm kind of wondering if, like, college was a waste of time, so... <laughs> That's why I, I'm still not kind of doing that, I don't know. I mean, I can pursue my love for bugs elsewhere. I can do that on my own. Every time I- What- The reason why I like to go on hikes! is because I like to overturn every fucking log, every fucking rock that I physically can, and check what's underneath. That is my favorite pastime. I love doing that. I love taking pictures. I love taking pictures of plants. I love taking pictures of fungi. It makes me so happy. And if you guys ever have cool plants or bugs or fungi, feel free to post them on the Discord. I love, I love looking at cool, cool nature. It makes me happy. Should still go for it even if part time if you can. Okay, well here's the problem: entomology, pursuing it as an as a degree. One, we don't really have any colleges near here that will do that, and um, it's also a very long term kind of thing. I don't know. Maybe in the future, we'll see. Have you ever gone hunting for edible mushrooms? I know what I know. Some edible mushrooms, um, but I don't eat them. I've never been a big fan of mushrooms. And I also don't want to die <laughs> by accident. But I do know a lot about mushrooms. Like which ones are edible and which ones are harmful and which ones could get you high as shit. But that doesn't mean I eat them. I don't eat them. I don't want to die from mushroom poisoning. But I still think they're very cool. I think I think mushroom hunting is awesome. But I just leave them be. I just take the pictures and walk away. Wait, is this right? Wait, this is wrong. This goes here. What? I'm confusing myself now. What? 
this thing and then oh and then this goes like this and then this goes on like this and then and then and then and then Wait, I'm confused again. <laughs> I'm glad you don't try anything with the mushrooms. <laughs> yeah, I'm not crazy. I ate an acorn off the floor once. I just wanted to see what it tasted like. It didn't taste very good. Um, but that's kind of as far as I've ever gone. So do like a discovery video, vlog all the things you find and tell us about them. I've thought about doing streams where I show you the photos of things I find. But I don't really have anything good to record with. And also, I'm afraid I dox myself. So I don't really want to do that. I don't really want to do a vlog. <laughs> what did it taste like? It tasted like, uh, like an almond, kind of? But like a very hard almond, and it was very bitter. Don't recommend. I don't understand squirrels. Getting started on these is always the most confusing part for me. a lot when I go when I go outside called seek oh frick called seek and um, basically you can just scan any plant animal fungi bird fish anything you find you take a picture of it on the app and it scans it and it tells you what it is it tells you the exact species most of the time I'm not having fucking chemo bro I th I'm not having that I don't have cancer I'm not- I don't have that. I don't have cancer, guys. I'm not- that's not what this is. It's more just annoying things. Not- I'm fine. I am fine. Please. Yeah, I have brain mold, actually. <laughs> My brain is moldy. From never going outside. I need to give it some sun. Yeah, Seek is, a, Seek is an app that's connected to iNaturalist. That's basically what it is. But it's it's only for scanning. And it even gives you, it's like, it makes it, it incentivizes it in a way. Because it makes it like a little achievement game. Like you get achievements for the more you, you take pictures of and collect and the new species you get. So, it's kind of like a little real life collection game. Which is kind of fun. I love it. What are we building? McDonald's? We're building fries. Yes, a McDonald's. I'm just taking forever on this because I'm also talking. Sorry. IRL Pokemon. Yeah, you gotta catch them all with your camera. I don't know. I just love. I love. I love. I love. I love nature. I love. I love bugs. I love nature. It makes me happy. It makes me very happy. And I think everybody should find something that makes them happy in life. The little things. Oh, thank you for the sub, Kales. Thank you. Thank you. Have you ever ate a turtle? No, are you talking about turtle soup? 
Was it really a turtle? No, I'm not eating a turtle. I've heard alligators taste like chicken, though. I've never eaten a gator, though, either. Ever eaten a modern dinosaur? Are we talking about a chicken? I've eaten chicken before. I love, I love chicken. I love chicken, bro. I actually own two chickens. Their name, uh, their names are Beeper and Stella. Want puppies? Nah, chickens are more closely related to dinosaur. I don't think that's true. I'm coming up with facts out my ass at this point. Man, I fucked this up somehow, somewhere. What? Fuck this up somehow. Wait, did I? I am so confused looking at this. So it is like this, and then... Oh, I see. What is my favorite food? I really like sushi. I think that's a very average answer though. Um, curry udon. I'd say curry udon. We had a curry udon place. It was so good. And then they shut down because nobody was eating there except me. I was single-handedly funding that place. <laughs> it's just like a small curry udon shop. It was so good though. I don't think I'll ever get curry udon again because I don't know what other fucking place is gonna sell it. I was aiming for one crit and during uni and completely changed course my junior year because I came to the conclusion that one must enjoy what they do even now and I went for some that I found fun. Yeah, that makes sense. Followers, hello. Welcome. Oh yeah, again, don't worry. I'm gonna probably just do a fuck ton of art <laughs> and post it on Twitter. I'm starting to break. You will see. Lots of art. Probably commissions. And then, and then, and then, when I come back. I have something very big. Actually, I have something very big. I have a very big surprise. For everybody. For everybody. Big, big things. Uh, I'll probably 
probably start teasing them soon. I'll start. I'll probably tease those pretty soon. But yes, I have some big things planned, and um, I think I also think taking this break, I'll be able to put a lot of get a lot of that stuff in order. Yes, I'll tease it on Twitter. Um, uh, quite a bit. <laughs> I'm hoping that it'll be in May that I can I can do the big thing. I can do big thing. Hoping that it's in I can do it in May. But I still have to get some stuff prepared for it. But um I'm very excited for something, 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 something big. So Buck will obviously be back. I'm not leaving. It's just a break. And don't don't you dare. Guys, don't you dare forget about me. Well, you you guys don't have to use Twitter. You can also check Discord. I'll probably also put stuff on Discord. I'll put stuff on the Discord too. That'll be what my mods I make my mods do while I'm gone. For the break, I'll be like, hey motherfuckers, you don't have to sit in my streams anymore, so you're gonna you're gonna have to post all my Twitter shit to Discord. Congratulations, you got a job. Is it a face reveal? <laughs> it's not a face reveal. They reverted things so you can actually view Twitter posts without being signed in? Fuck yeah, bro. Yeah, I'm definitely very excited. <laughs> I want to say more. I've talked about it a little bit before. I have, I have, I have. But, oh, I'm just so excited, man. I'm just so excited. Anything you guys are excited for? And now uh, coming up in your guys' life? Big things? Small things? Stupid things? I'm excited for the surprise. Yeah, well, I mean, you better be. Hmm. You better be excited for for next thing. I'm I'm definitely gonna really try and get back into doing book short book fact shorts because I do really enjoy them. I just ah, they take some time and then I, and then I get overwhelmed and I, da, 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 I'm gonna start. I'm gonna try and do that more. I'm gonna try and do more book fact shorts because I want to do more book fact shorts. Life is annoying. Yeah, life is super fucking annoying, man. It's full of piss and shit and farts, but I do kind of like the farts. Mine smell like Lay's potato chips. Yum, yum, yum. What do you mean you're reaching your life expectancy? Are you are you like a bug? You only live for a couple of years. idea of things I want to draw. I want to draw, like, VTuber. <laughs> I'm choking on the tip. I want to draw more VTubers, but I want to draw them as bug. Bug-themed characters. Not me. Just bugs. Insect. Insect-themed VTubers. Like, I'm right now... I'm drawing Iron Mouse into, into a, a bug. 
I don't know. I just want to do do that. I want to do that a bunch. I don't know if you guys know this, but I like bugs. So yeah. And if you haven't joined the Discord, make sure to join the Discord. Ow. God, those chips are so good. They're addicting. Little feeties. Will there be any more community nights on the Discord in the near future? I don't know, maybe. Maybe. I don't want to plan anything just yet. Because I kind of just want to give myself a, a, a general break for a while. I don't want to, like... I don't, I don't want to worry about that right, right this second, but... Maybe. I mean, I really want to watch all the Studio Ghibli movies again. I mean, I haven't seen them all. I've seen most of them. I wanted to, like, go through and watch every single Studio Ghibli movie. From the earliest to the most recent. Except I don't want to watch, what's it called? Earth and Sea? What was that really shitty one that came out a while ago? Tales of Earth and Sea, or something like that? That Ghibli movie that nobody liked? I don't remember. I don't- we're not gonna watch- I wouldn't watch that one, though. <laughs> only- only not that one. Your wig is a t- it's a, it's a series, bro. So maybe we'll do that. Top three Studio Ghibli movies, in your opinion. My top three are... Nausicaa is number one. And then... Hmm. There's a lot I haven't seen in a really long time. Then it would probably be, um, Ponyo. Ponyo is so good. Ponyo, 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 fishy in the sea. Oh, she's a little fishy. How could she have, what? Who, who could she have even be? What the fuck? How does it go? <laughs> Ponyo, 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 magic set you free. Ponyo, I like Ponyo. I like Nausicaa. That's another one that I really liked. I like Spirited Away, but it really scared me as a kid. Actually, <laughs> surprisingly, the 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 scariest. Ghibli movie for me growing up was uh, The Cat Returns because there's a scene in The Cat Returns where one of the cats drowns in jello. It's a very quick scene. It only happens for like a couple seconds. But he's like drowning in jello in the background. And um, I don't know why, but that scarred me for freaking life. That scarred me for life. Scarred me, bro. I'm just terrified of drowning in jello, man. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's it's scary. I don't That's one of my top fears, drowning in jello. It's a weird fear. But um I mean it would probably suck to drown in jello, so Yeah, I'm not afraid of spiders, I'm not afraid of ghosts, I'm not afraid of bugs or or what's other things people would Generally afraid of. I'm not afraid of the ocean. But I am afraid of people. And I am afraid of drowning in jello. Drowning in jello sounds like a good way to go. No! Because not only would you be drowning, 
but you would have solid in your lungs. It would be solid and then it would melt into liquid. It would be like the worst. It would be like suffocation mixed with drowning. It would be the worst thing ever. That'd be a really sucky way to go. Just believe me, it would be. I don't know. I don't know why that was such a... That was a fear. That came into fruition because of freaking the cat returns and the cat drowning in jello scene, but... Freaked me out, bro. Freaked me out. Do you guys have any weird fears? It's okay, I've got a fast metabolism. I'll survive. Just eat the jello, idiot! What? You're drowning? What? You're you're suffocating? Just drink the water! Oh my god, are you stupid? Just drink the water! I might actually do a collab stream during the break. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I did have something planned. And we haven't, like, decided on time or date exactly yet, but I don't know. Depending on what they want, we might- I might do that during the break. Not 100% sure yet, though. Honestly, very large bugs. Bro, I would love to live in the carnivorous- car carnivorous? Carni- carb- <laughs> Carboniferous! Era! I'd love to live in the Carboniferous era when they had giant bugs just flying around and shit. Bro, I would have loved that. I know nobody lived in that age, but I would have loved to. Looking up at the night sky freaks you out? That's crazy. I love looking at the sky. Sometimes it's a little eerie when like you can see the moon during the day. Do you ever do you guys ever look up at the sky and you can see the moon and it's like you can see the whole ass moon. It's super bright. You can you can see the moon, but it's daytime and it's not like it's about to be afternoon and it's the sun's about to set. It's not like that either. It's like freaking 1 p.m. and you can see the moon. I love that, but I also hate that. The ass moon. Yeah, the big ass moon. Whole ass moon. If you fell into the sky, nothing would stop you and you couldn't grab onto anything. You could grab onto the moon! Why is it that we can see the moon in the sky during the day sometimes? What is the reason for that? I think it's awesome. But I also think it's kind of scary because it, it's like this, this imposing threat almost. I don't know if you guys have seen, um... Fire Force? Have you have you guys seen Fire Force? But like in Fire Force, like the moon slowly gets closer and closer to the planet and it's like big and scary and it has like a big face on it. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? If you know Fire Force? <laughs> the, the, the moon is just like slowly getting closer and bigger and it's just smiling. Ugh. Majora's Mask moon jump scare? Yeah, kinda like that. The moon is always watching us. It doesn't matter if it's daytime or nighttime. The moon is always watching. It's planning something. It's gonna crash right into the earth. Every time I look up at the moon, I'm like, is it a little closer than it was yesterday? Is it slowly getting closer? Are we just gonna collide with the moon one day? I've never actually played Majora's Mask. Fun fact. I didn't play much Zelda growing up. There was the the Zelda game. The Zelda, there was like two Zelda games on the DS I did play though. Unfortunately, it's drifting away from us. What? 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 I'm 
I'm gonna play a lot of farming games. Spirit tracks and hourglass. Yes, yes, both of those. That's what I played as a kid. That was my only experience with Zelda. Moon is moving away from us at a rate of about 3.8 centimeters, 1.4, 1.5 inches per year. What? No, come back, Moon! Come back! Why is he leaving us? Come on! Okay, do you guys think the moon is made out of cheese? Do you think there's a man in the moon, or do you think there's a rabbit in the moon? What is your, what is your moon conspiracy theory? Do you, do you think the moon landing was a fake? What is your moon conspiracy? I don't- I'm not like- Surprisingly, I don't- I'm not that interested in space. I think space is kind of silly to be interested in when we have the Earth here. Right here at our fingertips and I feel like we don't explore it enough. But, the moon I do think is very interesting. I like the moon. There are water bears on the moon? Yeah, they can survive in space. The moon is cheese, only when I'm hungry. I see the rabbit in the moon. That's that's how I see the moon. I always see the rabbit. <laughs> then you fucking ate the rabbit. Wait, what? I was told a story about a rabbit offering itself to be eaten by a god, and the god lifted the rabbit and sketched his shadow on the moon, and then he ate the fucking rabbit. Is that the story? I don't know. Is that the story? <laughs> Would you eat the moon? I feel like- I feel like it would taste like chalk. Yeah, I think- I personally think the rabbit on the moon is way cooler than the man or the cheese. But then again, if I ever become as rich as Elon Musk, I'm going to start a cheese factory on the moon. Just because people love moon cheese. If I ever become as rich as Elon Musk and I'm able to do that, I will do that. I guarantee. <laughs> I will start a cheese factory on the moon. I will ship a bunch of cows to the fucking moon and we will make cheese. It's gonna be the most exquisite cheese you've ever seen. Exported from the moon. If the moon is cheese, how come no one ate it yet? Maybe it is currently being eaten from the inside out. Oh, the moon isn't made out of cheese, but I will bring cheese to the moon. <laughs> if you elect me as president, I promise you, I will bring cheese to the moon. I promise you, as president, I will bring cheese to the moon. So, elect me for president. Vote for president, 2024. That is some serious overhead costs. <laughs> Maybe I'll just do it in Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking a break to focus on my presidential campaign to put cheese on the moon. Hey, honestly, it does kind of seem like an Elon Musk idea. He always has like really stupid fucking ideas. Bro, I would I could see him putting cheese on the moon. I feel like we should write to Elon Musk and be like, "Hey guys, we have a we have a great idea. Can you put cheese on the moon?" <laughs> Fuck Twitter. Fuck all your other stuff. Fuck cars. Put cheese on the moon, idiot. Best investment ever. Moon cheese. Put a fucking car into orbit so it's not out of character. Yeah, no, definitely, definitely not out of character. When you have a lot of money, I guess you get bored. <laughs> yep. I feel like when you have a lot of money too, I feel like they get addicted to making money. So it's not even about spending shit money on shit anymore. It's about spending money on shit to make more money. That's why an investment in a moon cheese factory would be so good. I could pitch that to a bunch of fucking rich, rich billionaires. Be like, okay, hear me out, guys. We're gonna bring cows to the moon and make cheese. 
from the moon. And we're gonna cost, it's gonna cost a lot of money for people to buy that cheese. And that's how we're gonna make a profit. It's gonna be like, the coolest new thing. How do I pitch my ideas to build billionaires? Shark Tank? Yeah, I'll go on Shark Tank. Moon cheese. Pitch your ideas to Bill Nye. I thought, is Bill Nye even rich? I don't think he is. Is he rich? I feel like he's kind of like, um, what's the word? Uh... You know, his career's kind of dead at this point. You can see the ship up there, too. Disney money. I don't think he does anymore. I feel like he's kind of a yeah, what's the word? He's probably upper middle class. Yeah, he's probably upper middle class, but I don't think he's a billionaire. Is a net worth of eight million? That's not a billion though. That's only eight million. <laughs> That's not enough, guys. We gotta be going for people who are bigger. <laughs> people with more money. People who have the money to put cheese on the moon, guys. Why can't I just fly to up to the moon? Because I would suffocate. <laughs> yes, birds and bugs may be able to fly, but they definitely can't fly to the moon. It's a lot of reasons they can't do that, but most importantly, they would just suffocate. Bring a bag of air. Weak mindset. Nope. Okay, next player. Gotta give him his little hands. God, sometimes these little bricks just don't want to go on. Like, I feel like their holes are too small or something. I don't know. Why the fuck won't you just go on? You guys have any strange business propositions for Elon Musk? <laughs> Other than the Moon Cheese brand? Moon Cheese copyrighted? so hard to get on
I hate him, so no. Well, just billionaires in general, I guess. Totally fine to hate him. I do too. But I think he's kind of funny. <laughs> Sometimes. I mean, I just imagine having that amount of money to do the stupidest shit you can think of. That's kind of a dream. We make a car go under water to explore marine life. Bro, I think that's called a submarine. I think you're thinking of a submarine. We already have those. In fact, we've had those for a long, a long time. Elon Musk VTuber agency. That sounds like it'd probably be the the <laughs> that'd probably be the most toxic VTuber corp ever. We've seen so many VTuber corps implode on themselves, explode. Um, I'm pretty sure Elon's would be the worst. We have their submarine car. I just had the piece I need, and now I've lost it. Where the fuck did it go? Yep, there it is. I found the one piece, yes, I did. If Elon had a VTuber agency, I think it would probably go down in flames from a mass scandal. Yeah, I, I feel like I feel like it would not go good. I, it would definitely be worse than Niji. Definitely worse. He has a little nose now. Tesla. Tesla tubers, guys, Tesla tubers. I don't know. I feel like the state of VTuber agencies right now is not looking too great. Even the companies, I feel like I can that I felt like I really liked and that I felt like were probably good. I've, I've, um, lately I've just been thinking, mm, maybe they're not. I mean, it just feels like none of them are good right now. I don't know who to trust, man. They're kind of all a little bit stinky. I mean, Being indie is nice, but there is a good number of reasons people join a company. You know, I think. 
I also, <laughs> I was talking about somebody else with this, about this the other day, but I feel like a lot of companies don't realize when they're hiring VTubers, they're always hiring. Like, all VTubers are just mentally ill girls on the internet that want to be an anime character. That is what all VTubers are. They're all mentally ill. None of them have probably worked in a professional environment before. So <laughs> when they hire these indies and things don't work out and they're like, what's going on? I'm like, what did you expect? I feel like they should realize that. <laughs> girls, yeah, they're mostly girls. Corpo's mostly only hire girls. I know that there are male VTubers, but we don't talk about them. We don't talk about men. Oops. It's just a break? Yes, it's just a break. I don't know. Do you guys have a favorite agency out there? Any that you guys really, really think are doing good and treat their talents good and stuff? Because I don't know, my outlook on um, agencies right now is not, not the greatest. <laughs> I don't watch any agencies. Yeah, well. Valid, valid. Hollow Live is next. I mean, I feel like Hollow Live has always kind of been the gold standard. Hollow Live has always kind of been the gold standard. Phase seems okay. Phase. I think a lot of you like Phase. <laughs> I used to like Niji Sanji and Idol, but now it's just down to face connect. Mm. I think my favorite agency was Prism before they sh they're shutting down. Yeah, it is kind of sad to see that, but at the end of the day, I feel like Hollow. I'm sorry, I feel like. I feel like VTuber agencies sometimes just aren't profitable. I feel like a lot of times they aren't profitable. It's an agency like the IRS. Yeah, that kind of agency. Mm -hmm. You got it. Bro, I was going to apply for Niji at one point. Thank fuck I didn't. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I kind of wonder if they're ever going to come out with that next generation they were supposed to. You know how they did acting auditions for VTubers that were good at acting? I know that some of them already quit before they even debuted, but I wonder if they're, they're going to still try and do it. I'm, I'm, I'm curious. I'm very curious. I'm very curious. agency that they charge all refunds directly to their talent so if someone repeatedly donates and refunds they would just bankrupt whoever they want what that can't be true do bugs pay taxes typically no typically no <laughs> federal bureau of vtubers how do you have a streamlabs do I have a Streamlabs page or something that doesn't take t cuts from donos by any chance? Um... I have a throne. And I also have a Ko-Fi. 
I don't think I have those listed anywhere, but I have a Ko-Fi, I guess. That would probably be the best way if you really wanted to do it that way. No fans, I don't have a fans. Only bugs, only bugs. Scantily clad bugs. That's the market I gotta tap into? I don't know about that, man. I don't know about that, man. I thought about making it only bugs one time, where I did just post scantily clad bugs, but then I was like, who the fuck would pay for that? Other than me, who would pay for that? Nobody. So I'm not doing that. You say that, but look at how much money the furries make. Bro, I, I know I know that being lewd and, and stuff, it, it makes a lot of money. In fact, <laughs> something I hear a lot from other VTubers is, Oh, if you're not making enough money, just make lewd content. Make ASMR. Make, make um, just do lewd stuff. And I don't, I don't, I don't want to do that. I'm not into that! Bug bondage! Yeah, no, no bug bondage, no. What about Frieza, like, bugs crawling on there, you know? I like it when bugs crawl on me. Not in me, but on me. I came here for a Christian bug content. Yep, this is a, this is Christian bug stream. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yep, mm-hmm, 100%. Definitely. I don't know, it just kind of annoys me sometimes how, how, um, intertwined VTubing has become with, um, like, you know, sex work. Like, I don't have a problem if that's what you want to do. I don't have a problem with people viewing it, but it does kind of, you know, I, I kind of wish, um, sometimes that people could look past boobs, anime boobs, and girls whispering in your ears and look for something, I don't know, different? <laughs> I wish people would stop being horny all the time. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Stop being horny all the time, you fucking weirdo. Disgusting. There's websites for that, exactly. I mean, Twitch is slowly becoming one of those websites. Kinda. <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, taking this break, I hope to really focus on making a lot more videos, content, um, and shorts, bug fact shorts and stuff like that, so, I don't know. Still do expect me to post stuff on both Twitter and YouTube and Discord, just not streams for a little bit, no streams for a little. Why? Why not?
we're gonna finish off this this little bozo here I just silly ah I broke his nose Fuck. oh no oh no I broke his nose yeah I know that I, there it is. I lost. I thought I lost you for a second. I know that people really enjoy the bug fact shorts, and I enjoy them too. I enjoy bugs. Like I said, I feel like just, I don't know, streaming has kind of taken over my life and I haven't had time to do the shorts as much so thank you cozy and thank you thank you for the cheer thank you for the the bits I don't know being able to focus on other stuff would be kind of nice I feel like for the box yes and I can focus on uh, my my pets, my bugs, and plants and stuff for a while, a little bit more too. Just to confirm, you're not going under the knife or anything. I don't think so. Um, I might have to get my wisdom teeth pulled. But that's not, like, anything crazy. I, I guess that's technically considered surgery. I'm not 100% if I have to get them pulled yet or not. I, when I was, <laughs> when I was, like, 16, I had my, my bottom wisdom teeth pulled out because... I went to the dentist and they were like, oh, you got, we got to pull out your wisdom teeth. You got to, we got to pull them out like right now. And then we're like, okay. So then we show up for the surgery and they're like, um, actually, um, actually, your insurance only covers us taking two of your wisdom teeth out. Not all four, not four, only two. So they could only take my bottom ones out. So I've been living, I've been living with my top ones in for years. <laughs> So if they say I'm gonna have to pull them out, and that might be that might be happening soon too. I wouldn't be surprised if they're like, oh my god, don't pull them out right now. I had my wisdom teeth pulled last night, didn't feel a thing. Strange thing is, the anesthesia that they gave did not put me to sleep. That's not good. I was awake the entire procedure and it only took 15 minutes. That's crazy. Okay, wait. Are you sure you weren't asleep? And you were dreaming of them doing it? Because they should know if you're asleep or not. They'll, they'll, like, know if you're conscious or not. So that's why I feel like maybe you just dreamed that they were pulling them out and you were awake for it. When in reality, you weren't actually. And that's why it didn't seem that bad. Yeah, I didn't get put under for my wisdom teeth before. And I probably will again. Because I, I fucking hate it when people put things in my mouth. I'm a biter. I'm a biter. Even as an adult, sometimes when they like put shit in my mouth, like it's almost an impulse. I just have to bite down. I'll fucking bite the shit out of their fingers. And I feel bad about it because I'm, I'm a whole grown ass adult and I'm biting this. I'm biting the dentist's fingers. But like, it's like an impulse, bro. If you touch something in my mouth and it, and it, if it hurts or it feels weird, I'm gonna bite. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna bite you. And I always have to be like, oh my god, I'm so sorry, oh my god. And they still have their fingers in my mouth, and I'm like, I'm so sorry, oh my god. <laughs> and 
anesthesia only numbs and paralyzes, but doesn't make you unconscious. It's a thing that can happen. There's no real way to detect it. Really? I don't remember anything. What? When they went to take my IV out, I passed back out. And I was pissed that they didn't finish taking it out. Yeah, I don't like dentists. They're kind of scary. Also, I don't know how people work as dentists. That seems like the worst job in my opinion. Tip from Hanyul Mandu for 50 buckaroonies. 50 buckaroonies? Thank you. <laughs> 50 buckaroonies? Ah, thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. It pays the bills to be a dentist? I'm sure it fucking does, but it would be like one of the most draining jobs in my opinion. I would hate it. But then again... But then again, I do hate people. I don't think I could ever be a person doctor. I think I would- I think I'd get mad and hurt them. <laughs> That makes me sound like a crazy person, but I just don't like people, so... I don't think I could be a doctor. If I, w I don't- I, th I think it would be bad for everybody if I was a doctor. Especially dealing with children. Bro, children are the worst. I wanna kick them. So I should be a coroner then. Actually, surprisingly, that was one of the, the things I was thinking of maybe going into. Like, funeral services? Not necessarily being a coroner, but like, um... You know, like, um... What do you call it? Working with dead people. <laughs> I actually, um... I went to, uh... I went to, uh, a, a, when I was younger, when I really wanted to work at, like, a funeral place growing up, my dad took me to a funeral place, and they showed me all the dead bodies, and, like, what they do to them, and all that, and it was, it was very strange. Like, it didn't freak me out or anything, it was just kind of weird, and it smelled strange. Like, it didn't smell gross, it didn't smell like rotting bodies or anything. Like, I guess it's the embalming fluid or something, but it just got this very, very, sm very... It smells like death. I don't know how to explain it. Formaldehyde? Yeah, maybe it was the formaldehyde. Yeah, I could be the mortuary assistant. Yeah, a mortician. A mortician, that would be. I feel like that could be a job I would really like. Because I, I don't like dealing with people. But if they're dead, <laughs> I don't think that's much of a problem. Chemicals and shit. When I worked at my, the aquarium, I dealt with lots of dead stuff and lots of chemicals. So I feel like I'd probably be pretty good at being a mortician of some sort. I've been in a lab where they kept dead bodies and yeah, it's a distinct smell. You know what I'm so surprised about? I'm surprised that they let me into that funeral place. To see all the dead bodies and stuff. When I was literally... I was a kid. Like, I, I had told my dad, I really want to do this. And he's like, oh, I have a friend. And they just let me come in and see what they were doing. And I was probably like, I was probably like 13. I think I was like 13 at the time. And they just let me in and they just let me see things. Yeah, why did they let me in? <laughs> why? I don't, I, I, I feel like, I, maybe that's normal. Maybe it's like a thing they can do, but. It's good to familiarize kids with death. I agree, but also, kind of strange thinking back on it. I guess I was very into it. I was very into it back then. I was like, yeah, dad, this is definitely what I'm gonna do. I wanna do this, 100%. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. One time, I flipped over a rock and found a red crayfish and was stupid enough to pick it up and it was <laughs> I was very upset for the rest of the week. <laughs> Bro, sometimes my scorpion will pinch me so fucking hard, I, it'll leave like a bruise for a week. It's- things with claws are not fun to mess with. 
I don't even care about being stung by my scorpion. It's about the pinching that I don't like. I hate it when they pinch. And have you guys ever been pinched by a crab? Like a big crab? If you get pinched by a crab, crabs can do this thing where um, they'll like pinch you and then their arms will fall off. Their little claws will fall off and it will stay pinched on your skin. It'll like stay exactly as fucking pinched as it was before on your skin. It's horrible. <laughs> so now you just have like a freaking cl crab claw pinched onto you and you're just and you're just like get the fuck off of me. The crab is not even there. It can't even release. It's just there. You have to like rip it off and it's horrible and it's awful. Crabs are crazy, bro. Pet hermit crabs probably aren't that bad though. I'm talking like big crabs. I'm talking like rock crabs. Red red rock crabs. Those are the big, big, big claws. Yeah, I used to I used to go crab hunting as a kid. Not to eat them or anything. I just liked flipping over rocks and finding crabs near the beach. And I would play with them and I would pick them up and I would hold them and I'd go and show people. I would literally go to people on the beach and I would go up to them and be like, Oh my god, it's a crab! <laughs> and they'd be like, that's so cool! And I'd be like, yeah! And they clearly didn't want anything to do with me. I was just a kid holding a giant crab. <laughs> but yeah, I had a lot of crabs pinch me and then let go of their claw and then run away without the claw. And the claw is still just freaking on my arm, bro. On my finger. Crabs are crazy. Crabs are insane, bro. The trick I did was put it in the water. Huh, I didn't know that's something you can do. I'd always just rip it off. Are crabs related to bugs? Other than having- Yeah, they're pretty- They're pretty closely related, I'd say. Did you know that horseshoe crabs in particular, which aren't technically crabs, are more related to spiders than crabs? Fun fact. Yes, I would say crabs and crustaceans are pretty- pretty closely related to bugs. Crabs, lobsters, crayfish. Lots of stuff like that. I mean, we all originated from the water, so. I love horseshoe crabs. Yeah, they're great. Okay, this one. Yes. Yeah, it's funny. I I I I used to love crabs and finding them and touching them and hugging them. And then there was this one time, and I don't know why my parents let me do this, but one time I got a big bucket full of crabs. They were all different colors. Like, some of them were purple and shit. They were so pretty. And I was like, can I take them home? And for some fucking reason, my parents said yes. So I brought them home, filled up a bucket with water from my hose, and I put the crabs in there. And, like, when I came out the next day, it smelled so fucking bad and all the crabs were dead and i was like what the fuck happened what happened i was so mad <laughs> i was a kid why did my parents let me do that so fucked up i just killed a bunch of crabs for no reason i mean surely my parents knew that they wouldn't survive in fresh water right they're, they're salt water crabs they're crabs the crabs from the fucking ocean The smell is pretty bad. It's pretty good. Pretty good and pretty bad. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Uh, one time... <laughs> this is kind of off topic, but... One time we found a, a cat skeleton. A mummified cat skeleton underneath our house. We have, like, this... This underneath place in our house, and it's, like, full of... 
this really, really fine dust. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it's full of this dust. Um, and I don't know. Animals can go under there. You can, you can go under there too, but you have to crawl. It's like a little crawl space, kind of, I guess. And and we found a mummified cat skeleton in there. And I don't know how it got mummified, but it was mummified. Like half of it was mummified. Um, I was gonna keep it. Um, but my friend at the time was like, Bro, I want a cat skeleton. We should take the mummified part off and we should just keep the bones. And I was like, oh yeah, fuck yeah, I want cat bones. So we tried to figure out how to how to get the skin off. Um, by like putting it in a bucket full of water and other chemicals. Um, and instead of melting the skin off the mummified cat, the water just turned black and murky and stank and stanky and it was disgusting. And then we just left it. We left it for like a year because nobody wanted to touch it because it was so gross. <laughs> I just left it in the bucket. And when my dad finally dumped it out because we had a giant bucket with just mummified cat water in our backyard. Um, it, the skin had not even come off. <laughs> the skin was still on, bro. <laughs> and at that point, even if it had worked, nobody wanted that shit. No, it smelled so bad. It was so gross. Mmm, corpse juice. Yeah, it was so gross. I had a very psychotic childhood. Yeah, I guess that's one way to put it. I think, I think it's like kind of more that my parents are a little bit fucked up like I am. They'd never admit it. They would never say it out loud. But I think they're really fucked up. I think they're fucked in the head, man. No offense to them. <laughs> but there's like a lot of shit that happened in my childhood where I'll like tell somebody else as an adult and they'll be like, what the actual fuck? And I'm like, wait, but I thought that was kind of like, I thought, I thought that was just kind of a thing. No, no. I blame my parents for how it turned out. <laughs> Wish I could have done stuff like that. It sounds awesome. I assure you, it was not awesome. It was very stinky. So it was definitely not awesome. It's important to have friends in your childhood. Or you aren't a play fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Most of my friends... Most of my friends didn't... I, I didn't... I never really had friends as a kid. Like, I had friends when I was really little, and I didn't really understand what having a relationship with another person was, other than playdates. Like, I had friends back then. But like, once I got into middle school and stuff... I feel like all my friends, all the friends I, I ever made past that point, most of them, I ended up kind of screwing me over or, um, you know, not just ending up to not be real, real good friends. I feel like I only had two or three people that I, that I would still consider friends, but I still haven't talked to them in years. I mean, people just drift apart, but also, I mean, okay, you guys are gonna think I am insane for this story, but this is a real fucking story that happened to me in high school. And it's really sad, and it's really fucked up. <laughs> Talk to them. Um, one of them is a drug dealer now, and the other one is a janitor. Uh, and I don't... Nothing against the guy who's a janitor, that's fine, but... Um, we just kind of drifted apart, and, like, I talked to him re recently and stuff, and it just doesn't feel the same. And the guy who's a drug dealer, I- and- <laughs> There are other reasons for not talking to him. <laughs> um... Okay. Here's my crazy- 
Here's my crazy fucking childhood high school story about friendship. It is a um message to all. <laughs> all that all that are attempting to have friends in this world. Don't be like I was in high school. Don't be an idiot like Bug. Don't be a fucking loser like Bug. Can you get on? Okay, so, <laughs> when I was in high school, I didn't have very, very many friends at all. Um, I was very much a loner. I ate most of my lunches alone. I just didn't talk to people very much. Uh, there's rumors that I was like a drug dealer, and there's all kinds of crazy rumors about me, simply because nobody really talked to me, and so people would just come up with random shit about me. And honestly, most of them were funny, not really mean, but kind of just really funny to hear. Like, one was that I was a drug dealer. I never did drugs, though. And the other one was that, um, I fucked my brother. Um, but I don't have a brother. I don't have a brother, guys. <laughs> I had a, uh, one of one of the friends I had growing up was a guy, and we'd hang out a lot. Because we were like childhood friends and everything, and for some reason, people like came up with the conspiracy theory that we were brother and sister, and that we were also fucking, which neither of those were true. I don't know, I just find that crazy. Anyway, here's the actual story. It's just really embarrassing, and I'm, 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 I'm avoiding it. Here's the story about what happened to me in high school. <laughs> so I had no friends in high school. I didn't really talk to anybody. But when I made a friend, I would get very, very attached to them because I was like, I have an actual friend. I don't want to lose this opportunity to have a friend. I feel so lonely. So. So I. I, I hung out with this girl for a really long time. We'd, ate, we'd eat lunch together. We were basically best friends. I hung out with her so much. We did everything together. And, um. One day, out of literally fucking nowhere, she's like, she's like, I don't want to be your friend anymore. I just don't want to be your friend. I don't want to be your friend anymore. Yeah, I think she said it to me over text, too. She was like, yep, we're not friends anymore. No friends. We're not friends. No friends. No friendship. We were never actually friends. <laughs> I'm not friends with you. And I, of course, was fucking mortified because I thought we were fucking besties. <laughs> and she was like, okay, okay. Well, if you want to stay friends, you have to pay me. <laughs> you have to give me $20. You have to pay me $20 and I'll be your friend. And me having no friends and wanting to keep this best friend I thought I had, I... She, I met up with her in front of the school before class, and I gave her $20, and then she took the $20 and blocked me on all my social media and everything and never talked to me again. So if you ever have a friend that says, give me $20 and I'll stay your friend, don't give them the twenty dollars, cause they they won't be your friend either way. <laughs> That's just the truth, bro. It was mortifying for me in high school. Like that was the worst thing, obviously. But looking back on it, I'm just like it's so silly that I would even be like, oh yeah, twenty dollars, and you'll be my friend. That makes sense. Here, let me give you twenty dollars. The fuck did I do that? <laughs> I don't know, I just find that kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, I probably- I- I- I don't know anything about that girl now, but I- I expect she's probably not having a great life anyway. She seems like the kind of person who would never get a job. 
if you're gonna be a mean girl in high school, you're probably gonna end up fucked over in life. Or you're gonna be a nurse. One of the one of the two. You're either gonna be a nurse if you're a if you're a mean girl in high school. You either become a nurse, or you're jobless, useless, and um never get anywhere. Your only your only expectation in life is to hit, marry a man who makes a lot of money. I don't think she even did that. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> I've had I've had trust issues ever since. <laughs> it's really upsetting that people would do something like that. Yeah, yeah. But then again, it was high school, and people in high school are little shits. People in high school and middle school are little fucking shits. So it's kind of it's kind of just the way it is. Sometimes I feel like VTubers treat VTubing at like high school, and I hate that. I avoid those people. I was still am. Why is it that mean girls always end up being a nurse though? I feel like nurses should always be nice people, but mean girls always kind of end up being nurses in this world. Not everybody, obviously, but it just kind of seems like a trend. Mean girls becoming nurses. You dropped out of high school, so all of a sudden all your friends were just gone. What do you mean? Like they wouldn't talk to you anymore? Did you have connections on to, on social media and stuff? Or was it just kind of they just like what? VTubers that treat it like high school probably baked in high school. That is so true. I know. I know. I'm very well aware, but I don't know. A lot of the shit that goes on behind the scenes in VTubing, sometimes I'm like, damn. Are we fucking in middle school or high school? Like, I... I don't understand. I usually see me... I usually see mean girls become bartenders. Oh, really? I've never... I've never heard of that. Yeah, don't peek in high school, honestly. Don't make friends in high school. You'll end up being a horrible person. I'm kidding. <laughs> I had a friend in high school banged a girl I liked and then shit talked me for being mad. What? I keep fucking this up. The guy in response problem solved. <laughs> what? Okay, wait. <laughs> my best friend from high school ended up being my wife, my ex-wife's lawyer in our divorce. That's crazy. That's a crazy story, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh god, I, mi I misplaced these and I'm gonna rip them off now, but it's really hard. They're really on there, man. How many of you guys peaked in high school? I 
I still feel like I haven't peaked, man. <laughs> when will my balls drop? When will I officially become an adult? I don't know. Imagine peaking. Yeah, I feel like I'll never peak either, bro. I don't know. What would your guys' stream jobs be? There's a lot of things I think I would really like to do. Like, if I could, like, I don't know, work at, uh, own a, an exotic pet store would be pretty cool. Or like, um... What else? Maybe like, work at a zoo at their bug exhibit or something? That would be awesome. Carnivorous plant nursery? Of course you would say that. <laughs> Being an author. That's interesting. God, why don't these fit sometimes? A vet tech? I don't have a dream job because I'd rather just have something to support my dream hobby. Okay, but what if your hobbies can become a job? That's what I'm thinking. A voice actor? Yeah. I have a friend who really wants to be a voice actor as well. It seems like the voice acting industry is kind of hard to get into though. A veterinarian seems pretty cool, but I feel like it'd also be kind of sad seeing animals die and not being able to control it sometimes. I care a lot more about animals than I do about people. If I see a person die, I don't give a shit. If I see an animal die, that makes me sad.
Bet school is expensive. Is it? I feel like school in general is expensive. That's why I avoid it. I hate that we're kind of expected at this point to be in debt to, for the rest of our life because of going to fucking school. Something that's supposed to educate us and make us smarter. But in the end, it just makes people more depressed. I think that's bullshit. I don't know, I find it crazy. How... <sighs> how expensive that shit is, bro. It just makes me want to avoid it at all costs, even though I know a lot of jobs require you to have a degree in something, but at the same time, I'm like, I don't even have the money to do something like that right now. Seriously, I hate it. I'm trying to be a pharmacist, and I'm in so much debt. You're right! It's fucking crazy. The main problem is people get into a field they don't like, and by the time they're done, the field is no longer looking. <laughs> is that true? That sucks. Yeah, and especially after, like, high school, which is such a... It's a horrible experience for so many people. And then to be expected to pay to go to school more? I know it's a different experience, but... It seems like a... Just a way to make a lot more sad people in this world. You know, you don't need schooling to be a vet tech. To be certified, yes, but I've been working as a vet tech for five years now. Oh, that's interesting. Higher education is a scam. Yeah, I feel like it kind of is. I don't know. <laughs> High school is harder than college. Yeah, well, I've heard that a lot too. Mm -hmm. uh... It's just kind of sad the way the world is right now. The fact that most people Probably will never be able to purchase their own house. Even if they work multiple jobs full time. And it just like makes you want to give up before you even start, right? Centralized and standardized higher education is scuffed. Specialized schools are probably better. Emphasis on probably. I think a lot of them probably are better. Especially if you are doing something you really enjoy. But the fact that that comes with a, a really high price tag. And, um... And for a lot of degrees, no guarantee that it'll actually do anything for you. Not all degrees, but some degrees. That's kind of, that's kind of the scary thing. Growing up in this economy is so demoralizing. I really don't know what I'm going to do after high school. It's really, really scary. I agree. It is very scary. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. That's terrifying. The world is scary and terrifying. I don't know. Hopefully you can always find something that you enjoy. But 
I don't know. I hate it when people, older people, are, are like, "Oh, what do you mean you, you feel depressed and you feel like you can't work anywhere and and no place will hire you?" When I was a kid, I got jobs just by going up to my neighbor and asking if I could mow their yard. <laughs> Nobody fucking does that anymore. At least not here. Nobody does that. I can't just go to my neighbor and ask if I can mow their yard and they're gonna give me 20 bucks for it. That's not a thing we did. People don't do that anymore. Oh, but it was so easy back then. Yeah, fuck you. It's not like that anymore. Shut up, old geezer. My philosophy courses were pretty good, but I don't remember anything else from college. They always compare their times with current day standards, and I, I usually brush them off when it happens. I know, it's so annoying, though. And they're, like, so up on their high horse about it, and it just makes me mad. And they also don't have to pay so dang much for college, I agree. Another one that just won't go in. Go in! Don't want to. What is the problem here? Get a different one. Okay, that one fits. I feel like I'm determined to finish this. I don't know why this is taking two hours and 30 minutes. I feel like it shouldn't have taken this long to get to where I'm at, but... I guess I'm just slow as shit, huh? When I was a kid... When I was a kid, I could put these together in five seconds. God, now we gotta do the fries. We gotta do the freaking fries now. Back in my day. How do you look up bug videos in the background? Um, there's one channel, I like watching the isopods eat channel a lot, which is where most of the isopods come from. But then there's also some other bug videos on there. It's just a playlist of stuff. Have you ever kept isopods as pets? Yeah, I have isopods. I have this one giant terrarium that I keep in the living room in my house. It's a giant terrarium. And it was originally just supposed to be a cockroach terrarium with tons and tons of cockroaches. But it has kind of more evolved into a little ecosystem with isopods, springtails, gnats of course we got gnats in there fungal gnats um cockroaches of all kinds of different types we got hissing cockroaches we got dubia roaches and i think there's another type of roach in there um there's a millipede in there there's some beetles different types of beetles in there 
and they all kind of just coexist. Um, like the isopods and the millipede, um, and the springtails, they kind of take care of, uh, things that are, things that are rotting. Um, and of course everybody still gets fresh food, but, so they take care of, like, the dead stuff. And then, the cockroaches eat the, the, the fresh food, and the isopods. Um, and then little plants and mushrooms grow. Cool. Wanna start a hissing cockroach terrarium someday? Yeah, I love hissing cockroaches. They're funny. Have I seen rubber ducky isopods? Yes, I have. I even thought I, I even thought about buying them once. I remember I was at the exotic pet store and I was looking at isopods, and um, they had rubber duckies, and I was like, hmm, maybe I want that. But they were they were so expensive, and I'm like, I don't I don't need that. If they're just gonna go in the big terrarium, I'm not gonna pay that much attention to them anyway. Do I feed them food scraps? Yep, food scraps. They also get sometimes, like, crickets or stuff. If there's extra crickets. I know they don't eat them live, but they'll eat them dead. Um. I think cockroaches are freaking awesome. I love them. Good night. Uh, what's the most I've ever pet spent on a singular pet? Uh... On a singular pet? I don't know, some of my tarantulas costed like, I don't know, $150? Maybe a little more? Maybe 200? Maybe I've spent 200 on one of them? I don't know. I don't really typically go for really expensive tarantulas. I go for the ones that nobody really wants. Uh, uh, there's a specific piece I need. I don't see it anywhere. Is that considered a lot for tarantulas? No. Tarantulas? Tarantulas can go for a whole lot of money. Tarantulas can go for a lot of money. I'd say $100, $150 is definitely on the low end of tarantulas. Ah, here it is. It is 100% on the low end. So, hey guys. And you've also got to remember that if you get a tarantula or something, it is kind of a, a very long-term pet. Female tarantulas can live upwards of 20 years. So, if you get a tarantula, be, be expect, expect to have them for a long time, man. It's not like you can just keep, try uh, getting a tarantula for a year and then get rid of it. I mean, they're long-term pets. Yeah, 20. Female tarantulas live for 20 years. Male tarantulas live a lot less. They can die pretty much right after maturity. They can also live a little longer, but... The females are the ones that live the most. I've seen plants that go for a thousand- over a thousand dollars? Yeah. Plants are also another big... ...industry. Come on! Get in your freaking spot, you idiot!
there. Oh, that's why I didn't want to go in that spot. But whatever. I'll just put this one here then. Some species live longer than humans? Ah! Of tarantulas? I don't think so. There's some jellyfish that live longer than people. Isn't there also like a tortoise? Some type of tortoises that live lo lo longer lives than people? I don't think any tarantulas necessarily do. Oh, parrots. Yeah, parrots. Parrots can live a long last time. This is why I don't agree with owning parrots. I mean, if you actually can take care of something for a long period of time, I think it's totally fine. But a lot of people... A lot of people get pets and I feel like they don't understand that a lot of pets are long term. Even if it's not a cat or a dog, you're probably still gonna have it for a, quite a while. Thank you, Michael Pittman. I heard chinchillas live 30 years. That's crazy. Chinchillas. Chinchillas are freaking adorable. I love chinchillas. I would never own a chinchilla, but I think they're adorable and I would love to pet one. I, I think I think I have pet one before before when I was a kid. Hamsters are perfect starter pets. Hamsters are pretty cute. I love hamsters. I had mice at one point when I was a kid. I got them for my friends. School science fair project. She was like, do you want any mice? I don't want them anymore. And I was like, okay, I'll take some. I had two mice from her. One! They were both fine for like maybe a year. And then one developed a problem where it would slowly, in it would inflate overnight and then it would slowly deflate during the day. And when I say it would inflate, I mean it would inflate, bro. This was like straight up furry inflation. It would inflate overnight. Every time I would come and look at the the, the tank, whatever you call it, the cage, mice cage in the morning, it was fucking inflated. And then during the day, it would slowly deflate and be normal again. And then every night it would <laughs> it would get bigger again. It was freaking weird, and I never knew what its problem was. Um. And then, my other mouse started eating itself slowly, which I think is a sign of depression, but I didn't know that as a kid, obviously. Um, and then, because it was eating myself and my mom was worried about it, one day I come home from school and my mom is drowning my fucking mouse. True story, true story, true fucking story. I come home, my mom is drowning a mouse in the backyard. because She wanted to put it out of its misery. <laughs> And I know there are way better ways to do that, to put an animal out of its misery, but, um... Yeah, my mom drowned one of my mice. True story. I still remember it vividly. I came home one day, walking- I'm looking for my mom, I'm like, where the fuck is my mom? I go into the backyard, I look I look in the, out the back porch, and I see my mom outside with a bucket of water. And she's like, put, she's like putting something in it. I'm like, what are you doing, mom? And, and she turns, and I can see the fucking mouse. She was drowning my mouse. I think I just started crying and went back inside. <laughs> oh, it's suffering, let's drown it. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, that's what she thought was best for the mouse. To drown it.
Do you at least name the inflating one Kirby? I don't remember what I named them, honestly. Actually, the brown one that she drowned was named Nutmeg. But the, the one that would inflate was white. It was albino. And I don't remember what I called it. I don't think it was Kirby, though. Because it only started inflating, like... I don't know, a couple of months before it died. So it was definitely something to do with the inflation that was killing it. But I have no idea what it was. Like, I even- I remember I googled it, I- I look, researched it as good as I could. Could never find out. I didn't know. I didn't know. Nutmeg, I'd be depressed with a name like that too. What? What's wrong with the name Nutmeg? I think it's cute. What problem do you got with Nutmeg? Only wild pet- wait, how do you humanely euthanize a suffering animal is something I don't think people research as much as they should. I agree, I agree, I, I agree. <laughs> Only wild pet story is I have my- I have my- I have is my sister's hamster. Thing broke out, got lost one night, and we found it three years later in the basement. It had been living off of bugs and our dehumidifier drip. That's insane. Well, I'm- I guess it's awesome that it survived, though, somehow. It's probably depressed because the other one was dead. Yep, it's also probably true. If you saw your friend inflating and then died, <laughs> what would you do in that situation? Would you be depressed? I think you would. Why is my friend inflating? I don't understand. Why is my bestie inflating? <sighs> I put the one wrong again. Just put this one. And this. You would eat a guinea pig if you could? I don't think it would taste like pork. Pretty sure guinea pigs don't taste like pigs. In fact, why are guinea pigs called pig? Pigs. Guinea pigs. because of the noise. I don't really think they make oinking noises, but I don't know, maybe. Maybe they do. Alright, I, I do think I'm actually... My fingers are starting to hurt. I don't know if I'm actually gonna finish this tonight, man. Why is this taking so long? I expected it to be shorter. It's fine. We're making fries tonight. Would you like fries with that? The name guinea pig can be traced back to their original 
price in the 16th century England where they could be bought for one guinea each. Oh! That's such a strange origin story. Hey, fingers will have a six pack by the end. No, I think my fingers will have cuts and bruises by the end of this. I don't know why you sing a Christmas song. Consuming potato chips while building potato? I guess you're right. Guys, I highly recommend Nori, Nori flavored chips. So good. So good. If you hadn't had them before, they're like, so good. Just believe me, they're so good. <laughs> oh, I'm also hungry for a snack. I wish there was a Japanese snack box I could buy with the promo code. What? That would be crazy. If you guys want these chips and a lot of other yummy, delicious Japanese snacks, specifically sakura themed snacks, make sure to <laughs> click the link in the description <laughs> of my YouTube and um, use code BUGBUG, that's B U G B U G H, to get you uh, $5 off your first Tokyo Treat snack box. Yum! <laughs> Imagine using code bug bug to get five dollars off. So if you do if you do get a, a, a snack box and you want to support me, make sure you do click my link though. Make sure you click the link because I don't think I don't think you act I don't think I get any a credit if you just use the code, which is kinda silly, but I don't know. Freaking go on. You know what we should try from the snack box though? Cause I am curious how it tastes. I wanna try these strawberry Kit Kats. Do you guys like Kit Kats? I don't actually like regular Kit Kats. I think they taste weird. I don't like regular Kit Kats, but the ones with the weird flavors, I typically enjoy a lot. Yo, buy the box! Yeah, buy the box. Um. These ones I think are just strawberry flavor. Let me check. Let me double check. Just to make sure I'm not making that up right now. Yep, they're strawberry flavor. Lights for sure. They're strawberry flavor. Okay, let's try. Let's try one. Okay, I kind of hoped I wouldn't. I would. <laughs> Why am I so bad at ripping? There we go. There's a one. All right, what do you think it's gonna taste like? A blueberry? Maybe a banana? I don't know. I don't know. Here is the delicious Kit Kat. Lick it. Taste it. It's 
break it in half. That was not a clean break. And it is unfocused now. That's fine, I'm still gonna eat one. Loka! Loka! Why is it- why is it doing this? Here we go. It tastes good. What is that one, um... What is that one ice cream that's like strawberry flavored? And it's got like kind of a bumpy texture to it. Cause that's what it tastes like. Do you know what I'm talking about? It's like a popsicle kinda. I used to get them and eat them as a kid. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Kit Kat always tastes great. Like I said, I don't really like regular flavored Kit Kats. They're kind of... I don't know. I just... Something about the regular flavor. I never liked it. I never liked it. Wait, a bumpy popsicle. Strawberry Shortcake Popsicle. Yeah, I think that is what it is. It has like a brand name though. Strawberry Shortcake Popsicle. That's what it tastes like. Strawberry Shortcake, kind of. Strawberry Shortcake Popsicle. That's the same kind of strawberry flavor. That's what that tasted like. Almost like a strawberry flavored cereal. What about white chocolate Kit Kats? I don't think I like those very much either. not like the biggest American Kit Kat fan, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Wait, I just put the wrong piece on again! What is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? It goes like this. And then this. Isn't there wasabi Kit Kats? I think there probably is. I feel like there's a in Japan I feel like they have a Kit Kat flavor for about everything. I think they have one for like <laughs> literally anything ever. Which is pretty cool. I'd love to try like peach flavored Kit Kats. I love peach flavor. I love peaches. Peach and lychee are my favorite fruits. Peach and lychee. You guys say lychee or do you say lychee? Lychee or lychee? Or lychee. I don't think you should say lychee though. I don't like when people say lychee. Is it lychee or is it lychee? There's only two options. Lychee? Lychee, lychee. It's like one of those things that every time I say it, I always have to rethink like, am I saying it wrong? Am I saying lychee wrong? Lychee? I mean, people know what you mean, whether you say lychee or lychee, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, I freaking love lychee. Lychee? 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 That is another piece that will not go on. Why does this always happen? Frick. Oh god, now I've got hiccups.
Peach is so good. I know, I wish it was more popular in the US as like a flavor for things, but whenever I go to a boba place or something like that, you know I always get the lychee flavor or the peach. Is it that spiky fruit thing? Yes, it is indeed that spiky fruit thing. It doesn't taste spiky. Lychee flavored canned beer? Honestly, that sounds like it'd be pretty good. <laughs> sounds kind of good, actually. Stop it! I'm already an alcoholic! Stop! Don't tell me there's more good alcohol out there. How dare you! <laughs> I literally have a bottle of wine right here. <laughs> I haven't been drinking it today. I haven't. But, don't threaten me with a good time. I am an alcoholic. <laughs> Welcome to Alcoholics Anonymous. My name is Bug. <laughs> don't threaten me with a bug time. Just lie about your name. Worst VTuber and Alcoholic Anonymous. Actually, I'm pretty sure there's other VTubers who are alcoholics. <laughs> pretty sure. Yeah. Uh, okay, fine. I'm just leaving that one there. I don't even care anymore. I don't care. I'll just do on. I'll just do it differently on the other side. Wait, no, I can't. Freak. Okay, come on, get off. to pay attention better to these goddamn instructions. I keep messing it up, bro. I keep messing it up. The instructions don't have any words on them, man. They're just pictures. But the thing that's like f making it weird with this with this little guy, with his little silly face. What makes it weird is you would expect both sides to be the same, like they would be the same pattern. But no, in this, for some reason, they're different. And that's why it keeps getting me confused. They're actually different patterns on both sides. Not the same.
These fries are making my fingers hurt, bro. Why do they make my fingers hurt so bad? I thought fries were supposed to make you feel good. Do not break your fingers. Who do you think makes the best fries? Like, out of all the fast food joints, what do you think makes the best fries? Because... I've said it before, but I'll say it again. I think Wiener Schnitzel made the best fries, but I'm pretty sure Wiener Schnitzel is out of business. I think there's only like one or two locations in the world left. But bro, believe me when I said Wiener Schnitzel has the best fries. They're so fucking good, bro. They're like McDonald's fries, but better. Oh, they're so good. Five guys? I'm I'm gonna disagree with you. I think Five Guys is trash. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, but it's true. I hate Five Guys, bro. I don't I don't understand the hype around Five Guys. Every time I get something from Five Guys, it's never good. It's always kind of like sad. And I know that they give you. I know that they give you a lot of. Fries, you know, they give you the big bag of fries, but I just, I don't like them. I don't like their fries, man. I don't like the peanut, the peanut stuff. Peanut oil that they fry it in. Good night, guys. Ah, I put that in the wrong place again. Yeah, I should probably get going soon, too. But I was really hoping I could finish this freaking little fry guy. <laughs> little fry guy tonight, but I don't think I can do it on stream. I think I need to take a, a break for the for my fingers to not freaking hurt so bad anymore. But... Yeah. Let me at least finish this layer, though. I think- I feel like I need thimbles to be able to do this without hurting myself. My fingers are truly suffering right now. in and out has the best fries? I agree. I agree. Yes, yeah, so I can post a picture to Discord later, I guess. Of the finished fries. Bing, bing, bing. I need one of those block removal tools. Is that a thing? I didn't know that was a thing. Okay. Well. Um. Hold on. Well, I just want to thank you guys. For. Being so supportive. And being so nice. And being great. Just great, great guys. <laughs> um, I, again, like I said before, this break is not going to be for a long time. It'll be for a little bit, but it will not be for a long time. And I will still be active on Twitter, and I will still be active on Discord. So if you haven't joined the Discord and you haven't followed me on Twitter, make sure you do that. And don't forget, one last plug before I go. Don't forget, if you want your own snack box from Japan, make sure to go into the description and click on my link and use code BUGBUG, B-U-G-B-U-G-H, to get $5 off your first snack box. And believe me, they fill this stuff to the brim with snacks. To the brim. Use code DRUG DRUG. No, no drugs! 
Use the code! Back, back! Anyway. <laughs> I'll see you guys very soon. Um, don't forget about me. Keep your eyes open for bug stuff. Because I do have big, 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 big things planned when I come back. Okay? Okay. I'll see you guys. Sometime soon. <laughs> In a week, in a couple weeks. I'll see you guys in a couple weeks. All right. Good night. Thank you guys, everyone. Thank you guys. I hope you have a great night. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.